want to choose this glove, Ron's glove, because uh, you know I feel like uh, you know I use a size 12, it's a little bigger than for the infield. Um, I feel like I can kind of just throw my hands around. I don't feel stiff with it. I feel a little loose with the 12. I feel like you know. Um, I feel like it, the, the way it feels and the way it plays, it plays bigger than what it is. Yeah. And I like that feel, yeah. especially at third base where the ball comes in kind of hot. Yeah. You know, I like to feel like I got some leather right going, throwing around, you know, and uh, yep. you know, it just fits me perfectly. It fits in my hand every time I put this, this model in. It always fits well. Um, the webbing, I decided to do that webbing. I don't, you know, when I was in minor leagues. Actually, I got a high school glove. Yeah. That was a size 12. That was the exact same thing, and that's how it all started. And I love that glove. And I got you. Finally, you know, I started to just, I just, I've used it the same glove since I was in high school. Yeah. yeah. You know, I used Pro Preferred in high school. It was a little hard for me personally. You know, I like the soft glove. I like a kind of a flimsy glove. That's just kind of the way I've always, mm -hmm. I've always liked my gloves. Yep. So uh, the harder the high, it kind of breaks in a little bit quicker, and uh, a little, it's a little looser, and that's kind of like what I like. So. I decided doing it, you know, and uh, I, I actually I went to the Heart of the Hide in uh, High A. It was the first time I got a Heart of the High glove, and ever since then I've been using it the whole How about the glove? Yeah, the glove, you know, it's uh, Rowling's trapeze model. So I've been wearing it for, you know, a couple years now. Uh, really, Why the trap? Uh, and just, I like it, it's comfortable. Uh, you know, I feel like I can catch everything, and, you know, it's. I enjoy wearing it. You're one of the few guys who wears the trap. Most most guys wear the H web. Yeah. Uh, no, I just I just grew up wearing, you know, the, the trap. You know, it's I've been sticking with it. So this last year, and maybe the last couple of years actually, this has been my gamer. So she's a little worn out. Mm -hmm. um, she's got all sorts of stuff going on, but uh, I'll probably use this for spring training and and, and probably most of this year um, until I I kind of get a new one broken in. But uh, she's She's breaking down. I need to oil her up and put some uh, some leather <laughs> leather cleaner on here. But um, once again, post web eleven and a half, pretty standard for me. And uh, hopefully, she can uh, make it another season. She's get the, the laces are getting a little worn. So so if you need to use this in the game, I mean, you're you're gonna probably be using it as a gamer for early sure. on in the season. For sure, I, I try not to use it in BP or spring training too much. I'll try to save it for uh, when it counts. But uh, right. you know, this is the one that feels the best to me, and this is the one that. Uh, I trust the most, so I, I, I try to use it the least amount, um, as opposed to some of these other ones. You said you're sticking with the same glove. No need to change that. No we way. talked about it last year. It's, I mean, it seems like it's just don't fix it if it ain't broke kind of deal. Correct. Yeah, yeah I've got the, everybody on the team calls it the plastic glove, but you know what? It's my plastic glove, and <laughs> I love it. It's the, uh, the Nike B360. Yep. yep. Uh, you know, it's a, a fossil in the in the glove world, but I'm a, a pretty normal guy. Just I, I like what, what I like, and I uh, I stick to it. This is yeah. This is my baby girl. I use one of these a year, and you know, hopefully I can you know catch the ball all yeah. the time. So. This is a uh, pro preferred. Um, same model I've been using for the past you know two three years. It's a Pro S twelve IC Pro. Yep. Um, you know, I like to go pro preferred uh, with this, you know, this tan color, you know, light blonde, I guess. Um, you know, I kind of did the purple laces this year, but um, yeah, no, I, this, is, this is my baby right here. I love it. Um, got the true right there, a little nickname. You but, flare it out a yeah. little bit on the pinky. Why do you do that? Yeah, I flare it. Um, you know, I, I think sometimes the pocket can get a little too deep. Um, you know, that's what I'm trying to stay away from because, uh, you know, middle infielder you don't really catch the ball too much you know you kind of just stop it and yeah uh, you want to get it in and out as quick as possible so you know that, that's kind of why I do it like that I always like how it, it like fits in my hand uh, like the the thinner it kind of is like it just morphs my hand a little bit better yeah and form a better pocket because I like playing straight up I don't like going to in the paint so I always go straight up and it just kind of like Form better and has a better like deeper pocket to where I like to catch the balls yeah and you use a you use a 1787 yeah what about, why not the 1786? I see a lot of short stops, or second baseman specifically, that prefer the The one set, uh, it, in that, it's a little bit smaller, right? I believe. Yeah, a little bit. I, I like using three quarter, because, so I used Rollins growing up, yeah. and their glove models run bigger than this. Uh -huh. So when I'd use like 11 and a half, it, um, it kind of like naturally fits the three fourths a little bit better. And, and, and Wilson. It's honestly the exact same as last year. The same as this one? Same one, except for it's a A2000, A2K. Okay, so tell me about that, A2K versus A2000. A2K thicker, this is thinner. I like this thinner around, you can already see like around the the palm. 
yeah. like this is a lot thicker. It's got like three layers, and this doesn't have as many. So Wilson uh, decided to come with uh, the idea of, you know, uh, since I had the gold glove and the platinum glove, they can't do the patches like Rawlings can, so right, we decided right. to get creative with it. Uh, I want to thank, you know, Wilson for coming up with the ideas. Um, yeah. I'm not as creative as them, but I guess that's not my job. Uh, yeah, Ryan and uh, ASO, yep. they were working on yeah, for you? Yeah, it was awesome. So what we started with was they took the Wilson patch off and the Wilson logo is just straight in there, which is sick. So sick. I, got I love the, that. There's a little wear and tear on this glove already with those stuff, but a little diving plate. But the, there's like the elephant skin right here. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's pretty sweet. Dude, and then awesome. instead of the Wilson patch, they put the Wilson Defensive Player of the Year trophy there. Yeah. So. That's the first Wilson ever. Yeah, first Wilson like ever that. to have that. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then I like how it looks like it's like a little magician's hat right there. So, you know, hopefully I got a few tricks up my sleeve you this do. year. You definitely do. Uh, and then the, you know, the Wilson logo being gold, I thought was amazing. Uh -huh. uh, the A2K is gold. Everything's kind of like beefed up here, which is cool. I uh, gave a little shout out to one of my buddies, you yeah, know, yeah, uh, it's pretty cool, Hurtado. Everybody knows that story, but, and then the two uh, gold gloves and two platinum gloves kind of resembled here with the two diamonds. Yeah. That's what we wanted to do. Um, yeah. So hopefully we can keep adding to that tally. Um, and then the thing that I'm the most proud of, which I think is so cool, the idea that Wilson brought to me was, you know, they told me that, you know, the defensive position that I get into is, uh, you know, pretty, pretty unique uh you know it's kind of like my own little trademark which like is like a jungle cool. cat yeah not too many people have their own little logo so uh they put uh instead of the stamp in the middle they put me in the middle there with uh you know like, in the d is that good the defensive yeah. position that i i play in so uh it was pretty cool to, so cool man to so have that cool. uh it's me right there in the a2k new colorway kind of uh Kind of strange, but yeah, it looks little, pretty good. A little strange, but it yeah. looks so good. Man. Yeah, I think they uh, Wilson did an amazing job with, um, you know, getting me and making it look good. And they got it to me quick too. I got my other gloves. They look just like this, but they're uh, I give them to the bullpen catchers to let them uh, break it in for me. Oh Cause, really? Yeah, because the pitchers break it in so much faster. Because you know they throw on every day and they throw heavy heavy balls and everything so it makes it breaks it in so much faster so I just use this for my work every day is that it and that's just basically like it's an infield glove it's basically like a trainer for you yeah it's a trainer for yeah, me. So you so I don't get lazy and everything so yeah uh -huh. I use this and, but you can still you can still ball out in the infield if you need to yeah if I, if I need to I think I may do all right I, I'll I'm, I'm glad now for the, I'll, yeah. stay, I'll stay out there how about your outfield glove uh, it's the exact same. Like I said, I gave I gave it to the bullpen. Oh that's, yeah, that's yeah. Who, oh, I see. I don't. I, so typically in spring training, I get my gloves and then I don't see them until the game. <laughs> like I just or until until the season. Like do I just you, give them to them and I don't even care what they do. And I know by game one of the season it'll be ready to go. That's all I care about. Do you like worry about the hand like being? No. If you can catch, you can catch. It didn't really matter that much. I have my the one that I've been using for the past couple of years um, from Rawlings, and I probably won't switch from that until I really get this one broken in, because yeah. uh, the one that I have is you know pretty broken in. So uh, keep using that one. But uh, they did a great job on the one that I just got uh, the BH with the 34 on it. Um, so it looks I've never really seen good. Anything like that. Yeah, it looks really good. I'm excited. Um, you see a lot of the uh, you know, Japanese guys and things like that. They have their logo or they have you know them pitching and stuff. Definitely, definitely. Strasburg has a really cool uh, web from Nike that he uses. Um, you know, a lot of the Under Armour back in Japan, they do that for them. Um, so, you know, I was looking at, you know, a lot of the stuff going on and I was like, hey, maybe Rawlings can make them one with, you know, BH34 on the web. And uh, they did a great job. So I, I'm thrilled about that. Yeah, so that, that 303 you know, that <coughs> H web, that's the most popular uh, outfielders model. Why, do, why is it that people go to that? Why do, why do pros wear that one? I don't know. I mean, I think it's just something that you see everybody using, so you use it too. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm new to the outf whole, whole outfield thing. You know, I caught growing up playing third, you know, growing up. Um, you know, so it's, uh, I never liked the trapeze, and uh, so I just use the H-Web, and it works for me, so why not? What's important for guys is finding the right size glove, and some of that depends on what position that you're playing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Rawlings, I love Rawlings. First off, the, I feel like the leather's top of the line, and uh, it's gonna give you some durability. Um, with that being said, I've, I had, what's different than mine than 
most people, is, I think it's harder to hide in the, in the um, inside of it. And oh. on the outside, it's the pro preferred model. Really? Yeah, because I like. Uh, I never heard that. I like the heart of the high. It's, it's still firm, but it's a little soft. And on the outside, uh, the Pro Preferred is a little bit more stiffer material, and I like for the outside to be, for to keep its shape. That makes and, a lot of sense. Um, so, I don't. I like it a little stiff on the inside, but not too stiff. It's kind of it's a feel thing. Yeah, yeah. I know uh, Machado at third uses the eye web. I know yeah. a bunch of guys, a bunch of great defenders use that. What about that web? What about the, you know, why do you like that pattern? Well, for, for me, I think it's it's just, it, it works well for the transfer out of it. Mm -hmm. um, and I can see, if I have to go and make a play, I can see the ball in my glove. Mm -hmm. And I know exactly where it's at. If it rolls up to the top, I know I can roll up to the top. Okay. Or if it's, you know, down here um, in the webbing right here, I know I can reach into there. Yeah. And I feel like for the most part, um, the ball gravitates more towards this area versus kind of rolling towards my fingers. I, I try to open this up as much as possible right in here. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm kind of, everything's kind of moving to this point right here. Yeah. And there's a lot of, I mean, there are balls that are different from short to third base, um, but there's very few balls that we're actually trying to squeeze this way. Mm -hmm. We kind of just wanted to, you know, deflect into here. Get it in, get it so, out. Right. So, tell me about the TT2. What do you like about it? That, that, is that the pattern? Is that, I think maybe it's Ripken's pattern? Or what yeah, about? it's similar to Ripken's. Obviously, he was one of my idols growing up. And, um, you know, I, I, it's always a glove that I wanted to make. And eventually, I got the opportunity to do it. And I've stuck with it ever since. And hopefully, it's a popular glove amongst the players. It sure is. And uh, why do you make it so flat? Why is it, why is it flat as a pancake like that? These kids are copying you. I don't even know if they know why. I don't know. My whole theory about fielding a, a ground ball is to try to make your glove as fast as you can because you're never really catching a ground ball. You kind of want it to just be open, hit the back, and get the ball. That's kind of my theory. Um, you know, and it works for me, but different people shape their gloves different ways. And as long as you're um, fielding the ball cleanly, um, you know, and it's comfortable, that's what you should be doing. I know you've used the glove that seemed to be falling apart last year. Maybe there was a couple guys that wanted you to get out of that. Are you staying? And with it, yeah. going to a new game. Yeah, most likely. This is my BP glove. There's no holes in it yet. Uh, my other gloves worn in just how I like it, so it's hard to get me out of that. It's like an extension of your hand. Yeah, definitely. Um, kind of, at times, you feel lost without it. Yeah, does it smell? Uh, no, not bad at all. <laughs> it's been a lot of years of you know spitting in there and stuff like that, but it doesn't smell bad. After every pitch, you've been spitting yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, I'm always messing with it, always doing this. People are always making fun of me, but I think it's just a routine. Are you very uh, particular about the way you keep it? Are you holding it with you at night? I, I used to be real, um, you know, didn't let anybody mess with it, but now it's, it's so floppy and I, I really don't care what people do with it. Yeah, and how about, I think you use a heart of the hide. Yeah. Do you have any preference yeah. to that? What do you I, like I about that? I feel heart of the hide is softer. Uh, Pro preferred is a little tougher, harder. Uh, I think as an infiller, you want a soft glove instead of something that's really hard. I came across Rawlings with the H-Web like this right here. Mm -hmm. I converted to these in 2011, and it was just like a, a match made in heaven for me. I don't, it just fits to my hand perfectly. Yeah. Um, got a little flair to it. It got a little see, bit of flair to it. I, yeah, I always mess with it. I put a little right. flair to it. And this is, I mean, the trapeze, I, I, it's one of those things where I, won't, I don't ever want the ball to pop out. And when I have these H-webs, it always stays in that pocket. Yeah. So good. And I think for an outfitter, anytime we go to our backhand, for whatever reason, the ball always wants to shoot out if you catch a ball, especially low. Yeah. And with these H-webs, it's just perfect for me. And um, I just, ever since 2011 when I first had this, I, I'll never switch back. And this is something that, um, a model that works for me, and the leather is, I mean, this thing just feels like, it, it smells, it, it smells yeah. great. Too. I mean, it's just, <laughs> it's just perfect for me.